So let's get over to your first look weather. Let's get a uh, with the expert, my favorite expert, to, to go with <laughs> yeah. uh, Scott about what we can expect. Although I will say a warmer winter is good with me. Yeah. As long as we get a little bit of something special for Christmas. You know right? what? You're not alone. <laughs> like a lot of people ask just for the, the same thing. They're like, just around the holidays, I want it to be cold. And other than that, not so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, we're getting closer to Halloween uh, next week, at the end of next week, going into the week after that. Uh, we are warmer, though, than average the next few days. So we had a small taste of fall. Now we're Warming back up. We're near 90 tomorrow in the forecast. Saturday, 88. On Sunday, 88. The record high that date is 91 degrees, set back in 1939. I don't think we're going to make it there, but we might get close with south winds pretty windy. So, this is the other story. Plan for this, and I will alert you to the fact that tomorrow we're going to see winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour through Saturday, 25 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts, not out of the question. And the same story going into Sunday as we have a, this uh, change in pressure systems as a trough going to be digging its way on in and bringing this cold front through to start out the week. So I want to let you know that elevated fire danger is there in the southeast sides of North Texas to then the remainder of North Texas, a high fire danger because of those warmer temperatures, the low humidity levels and the gusty winds and really dry conditions across North Texas. So going into next week, we have rain on the way. Here we are going into Monday. Now, Monday morning, uh, the bus stops are going to be probably soggy out there. Also, that morning commute, give yourself some extra time. Late morning hours into the afternoon, seeing some rounds of rain moving through, maybe some stronger storms developing. Then overnight, Tuesday into uh, Monday into Tuesday morning, that is, I do expect to see some more rain pushing its way through, maybe some stronger storms, possibly even some wraparound rain on the north sides of North Texas going into late Tuesday night before then that front slides its way. Way to the east. How much rain are we talking about? When well, some spots, maybe an inch and a half to near three inches of rain in some localized spots. So just keep that in mind. Have the umbrella by the door Sunday night so you don't forget it on Monday. You didn't need it today. Don't need it tonight. It's 64 degrees with a north wind at five. Our humidity up just a little bit. We're sitting at 68 in Addison to 60 in McKinney to 63 right now in Mineral Wells. Overnight tonight, our temperatures will cool their way back down into the uh, lower 50s. And you saw that sneak peek of the temperatures. 88 degrees Sunday, rain change. Chances at 60% to 80% Monday night, and then we go from 88 Sunday to then a high of only 72 on Wednesday, and there's that taste of fall back for the end of next week. That's